Hello, folks. I'm Danny Cochran. Uh, David has asked me to uh, give you a testimony about my life, and uh, some people find it a little bit uh, fascinating. Other people think that it's just been a waste of time. But the biggest thing I can say about the whole ordeal is I'm a child of God's. I always have been, even before I was born, I guess, because my mom when she was pregnant with me, carried me to church. So I've been going to church basically all my life. Uh, from the time that I was born till I was 15, I uh, lived on the weekend with my mom and her dad, and then through the week I lived with my granny on uh, my dad's uh, mother. And granny basically raised me. Uh, she was my confidant, my partner, and uh, there wasn't any much of anything Granny wouldn't do. I could talk her into doing about everything. Uh, before uh, I left home, my brother and I would uh, go to church on Sunday, and our great-grandmother lived across the field from us a little ways, we, when we got home, we'd go over to, to Granny Wilson's house, and I'd preach what I heard that morning, and, and Donnie would sing. So uh, Granny Wilson seemed like she always enjoyed that, but, but we had fun doing it anyway. And then after we got a little bigger and Granny died, the preaching and singing was over with. I, uh, I always liked to go to church, particularly Sunday school, because... We always got little Sunday school cards. Our lesson was on a little, like a three inch by five inch card and front and back, of course. And that was good because we could take it home. And I thought that was the, the neatest thing because I could carry that little card home and watch it and look at it and, and reread it and have fun with it. When I was eight, I was at a uh, revival and Brother Vandiver was preaching revival, and he was very tall. He looked like a giant to me. And uh, the first night of the revival, I knew that uh, God was working on me, and he had a, he had a calling for me. And, but like most people, I just about tore up the back of the pew standing still. And uh, the second night, it, it was worse. Third night, it was even worse. The fourth night, I couldn't stand it any longer. I went down and, and gave my life to Jesus. Brother Vandiver led me to the Lord in, in the sinner's prayer. And for the next seven, eight years, I was very faithful. I, I uh, did what I could in the church. And I went to church all the time. And uh, just really enjoyed church and church people and going to church. Uh, back then is when they had Sunday dinner on the ground a lot of times, and I really liked that. That Sunday dinner on the ground in the country, you know, there's enough there for about 14 people to eat. Uh, but when I was 15, one afternoon, my mom and I kind of got in a disagreement, and I got upset and left home with the clothes on my back. That's all I had, clothes on my back. And for the next long time, I was sort of like the prodigal son, although I never got to as far as having to eat with the, with the pigs, but I, I lived a very uh, non-Christian life for sure. Uh, basically for about almost 20 years, and uh, I was just, whatever came along was fine. And uh, then... Uh, once, once I kind of got through that period in my life, I got back in church again and started working in church again and, and uh, asked Jesus to forgive me of all my shortcomings and all of my, my misdeeds that I had done all those years. And I feel comfortable in my heart that he did. And so since then, I've been uh, surely not without sin, but I have been a, a fairly uh, faithful Christian. 
trying to follow Jesus in all that he's taught us, trying to do my daily devotions, Bible study, and uh, it's just made a difference in my life. And now, uh, in these last days when I really get down and uh, aggravated and need a little uplifting, that, you know, I'll pick up the Bible and it seems like every time you do that and you, you open it, you find a message that you need at that particular point in time. And of course, then uh, the other side of that coin is praying and talking to Jesus. And I, I pray all the time, basically. I don't know how many times a day I'll pray, but, but most any time I'm driving, uh, since there's not a whole lot to do, and, and uh, the radio music is not the best in the world, and uh, it's just a good time for me to pray. And I do. I pray a lot when I'm driving. The longer the trip, the more I pray. Not necessarily for the trip, but for my family, for my church family, for uh, people that need the Lord and people that need to be saved and for health, of course, and for people that are sick in my church and in my family and ask for healing. I also, right now, uh, I've been really, really uh, involved in my church in the last several years. Last 15 years, I was a I was a Sunday school superintendent at Bethesda, and our Sunday school uh, really took off and grew. And it was nothing that I did. I was just following uh, God's ad advice and His example, and uh, Sunday school. Classes tremendously increased. We had uh, uh, attendance went up quite a bit. I instituted uh, snacks before Sunday school. And you know, they say uh, when you get married, if you want to want to get to a man, you get to him through his stomach. Well, I thought if that's the case in marriage, why couldn't that be the case in Sunday school? So we, fought, we started having snacks on Sunday morning uh, before Sunday school, and that's another big uh, attendance uh, getter because a lot of people like to come and have snacks, and that way they don't have to get up and fix breakfast on Sunday morning. I've also kind of backed away from, from doing much now, and i gotta, I got to find me another job because it's just kind of seemed like I'm just kind of hanging out on the end of a limb. And so, in reality, I've had like three different parts in my life. I've had the, the, when I was really young, I went to church a lot. I was saved. I was faithful. And, and then after I left home, I got into some uh, activities that weren't Christian-like and they weren't from God for sure. And I spent that time and then I got back in church and my life has just been a whole different life. Once I've been in church, I get the encouragement from my church family when I go to church. And, you know, people said, well, I don't have to go to church. I can have church on the golf course. I can, I can pray on the golf course. I can worship Jesus on the, on the golf course. But I always ask them, but do you? But do you? I mean, it's one thing to say it, but it's another thing to do it. So folks, if you'll wake up and listen to your heart strings that the Holy Spirit is trying to lead you and what you should be doing and where you should be going, uh, it's just a much, much better life when you're a Christian. Thank you.